So today we're checking out new construction again. This is part two in Frisco, Texas. The fastest growing city in the whole nation. Frisco is super popular right now. If you wanna look for part one, I just did it, new construction Frisco. I'll put it at the end of this video. But we are going to go over several different neighborhoods today that are new construction or new construction possibilities. Some of them are in McKinney, but they're zoned Frisco ISD. And so you'll still get the perks of the amazing school district here. I'm actually gonna tell you about one of the most eclectic, cool, brand new subdivisions coming up that is such a new concept. And I'm gonna tell you at the end, but I'm actually here now. I'm just not gonna tell you until the end. It's unbelievable what they're doing here. So stay and wait with all of that. That said, let's go to our first subdivision. I'm here at Stacy Crossing, and this is a Normandy builder community. And it's probably the most assortment, not assortment, but the most new builds um, in a better price range that we're gonna see. It's still McKinney, Texas, but Frisco ISD, in fact, elementary all the way up to high school is super close. And now it's windy again today. I just had somebody comment on one of my videos that I need to um, pay attention to the weather when I film so that it's not windy. And it, it just doesn't happen in the spring. I would never get to film. So thank you for that. But it's just hard, it's windy. One thing about the estates at Stacy Crossing is they have a fun little fire pit or back, back here that anyone can use. They have an events space here with picnic tables and then they have walking trails all throughout the community. They have so many opportunities um, here and you can start in the 600s. Again, remember your lot is gonna cost you money and your upgrades are gonna cost you money. So you're probably gonna end up around 700, but there's just really great opportunity. There are seven floor plans and it ranges anywhere from 2,100 to 3,100 square feet. And you're looking at three to four bedrooms. So it's just a really great opportunity. It's, you can get to McKinney fast, you can get to Frisco fast, you can get to Prosper fast, you can get to Dallas fast. It's a great area. So let me know if you're wanting something in the estates at Stacy Cross. States at Rock Hill and I love the location. It's actually Northwest Frisco, but it feeds into some of the newest schools in Frisco. So you're getting, you know, cutting edge technology and all new buildings, but it's close to the PGA as well. They actually have a centrally located two acre park with an amenity center and resort style pool and an open common area so that it's really pretty. It's gonna be a huge master plan community. There's two builders. They feature both one and two story home and designs that range from three all the way up to five bedrooms and offer a ton of different custom options. There's about 20 different floor plans. It's Shattuck and Windsor. The home prices are gonna be anywhere from 840 on up and the square footage is about 2,500 all the way up to almost 5,000. This is Frisco Hills and it's actually right next to Rock Hill and it's actually in Little Elm, but but it feeds into Frisco ISD. So it's a beautiful premier community. It has a splash pad, playground, resort style swimming pool. It's got hiking and biking trails. Now the sizes of the homes are anywhere from 1900 square feet to just a little bit over 5,000 square feet. They're stunning and there are so many upgrades that you can choose and your pricing is gonna start anywhere in the low, low 700s all the way up to over 1.2 million depending on what you pick and the design that you choose. So let me know. Text me, call me, ask me any question. I get back to you right when you text. I do not delay. I'll get you all the answers. Like and subscribe as well. Frisco is super popular right now. In fact, it's like all the rage and it's about 25 minutes, probably 30 minutes from Dallas, 20, 25 minutes from the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Frisco's actually been in existence since, since 1845, since it was an actual stop on the Shawnee Trail. The Shawnee Trail is actually still here, but it's now called Preston Road, which is really cool because you can literally take Preston Road all the way to Dallas. There's a ton of stoplights, so I wouldn't do it over taking the highway, but 
it's just pretty cool that it's still there. Frisco actually really took off in 2009 when Money Magazine said that it was the best place to live in the United States. And so of course that brought a lot of accolades to Frisco. And then in 2017, it was actually named the fastest growing city in the whole nation. And then of course last year, Frisco was evaded, evaded. Frisco was rated the third best city to live in in all of Dallas Fort Worth. Okay, so I brought you guys over to Settlement at Craig Ranch, and we're also going to see Pinnacle at Craig Ranch. And something you guys need to know about Craig Ranch is it's huge and it's in McKinney. I know that this film is on Frisco, but what's cool about this area is it's actually zoned Frisco ISD. So you can live over here and it's a golf course community, still get that golf course amenity type of deal, but still be in Frisco ISD if that's what you want. I love the settlement. I'm gonna kind of show you. The streets are super cute, lots of trees. It's mature and it's very low maintenance. The yards are really small. It's for people that just kind of want that patio home feel. And the street ends in the TPC, the golf, Country Club out here in McKinney. Now, there's not a ton of new construction left. There are some, like right back here, that open lot is build to suit. And this one right here behind us, this white home is new construction and it's actually for sale right now. It's right shy of 4,300 square feet. It's four bedrooms, four and a half baths, and it's listed for 1.3 million. Now that seems like a lot until you kind of look at the area and see what it looks like and how swanky it is. It is and that you can literally walk to Craig Ranch, the golf course. There's a lifetime fitness that you can literally walk to. And at the end of the street, I don't know if you can see down there, but that is um, a huge green belt with walking trails and it's just beautiful. So I wanted to show you the area. Craig Ranch has everything from townhomes all the way up to huge mansions. In this area, it's going to definitely be more affluent. There are parts of Craig Ranch that are lower priced, but they're not gonna be in Frisco ISD. And so if you're interested in this area, let me know because I can try to get you in your price point. But I just kind of wanted to give you a little view. This is the settlement and I'm about to show you the pinnacle. So the pinnacle at Craig Ranch is actually being built now. Obviously this is new construction, but they're luxury two and three story Dries Urban Living Homes. It's the newest part of Craig Ranch. They're actually offering five different floor plans and the price ranges anywhere from 975 all the way up to almost 2 million depending on what you get and the options you pick. But there are three to four bedroom options and there's actually amenities at the Pinnacle and all of that is included with master planned communities, but it's got gorgeous walking trails, a pet park, it's walking distance to Lifetime Fitness, which is really cool. Um, when I was over there, it's just down the street. And you do have to have a membership to Lifetime, but if you have, have seen our Lifetimes, then you'll know that they're worth it. There's more than about 400 acres of sprawling green space and running and biking trails. And it is obviously steps away from our five-star TPC Craig Ranch Golf Club and course, so you will love it. Okay, now we're at the Villages on Main Street, and this is super close to where I live currently, and it is made up of Normandy single-family homes and C.B. Jenning townhomes. So if you aren't ready to get a full house and maybe all the maintenance that comes with that house and the price tag, start with a townhome. I'm gonna take you through one but it's um, it's kind of a really cool way to start. I actually started my first home ownership in a townhome in Keller, Texas. I built uh, a townhome out there, but these townhomes are gonna start at $499.99, the two bedrooms, and it goes all the way up to almost 630, depending on if it's a corner unit, if it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, but it's a decent size. You have 1,900 square foot at the smallest, all the way up to almost 2,500 square feet. So that's a decent size for a townhome. And then um, you've got Normandy, and which makes a great product. They have a 40 foot lot and a 55 foot lot, depending on how much lawn maintenance you want and how much, you know, grass, but they are anywhere from 750 all the way up to like a million 30 depending on the size and the upgrades. So um, if you're super close to downtown Frisco and you know maybe five miles from the Dallas Star, the area, 
and it's just a really great location. Super close to uh, Fields West. You can kind of get anywhere fast and it is zoned Frisco ISD. Okay, I did not make it into Windsor Point because it is gated and guarded. So I'm gonna show you, it doesn't have a ton of new construction inside of it, but there are some very custom lots that are for sale. And I'm going to share my screen and show you. So this is going for two, a little over $2 million. And I just kind of wanted to show you what it's going to look like because it's going to be beautiful. And these are the renderings. And so if living in Windsor Point is something that you would like to do, then let me know because it is actively for sale. There's other pre-owns that are for sale as well, but it's going to be um, 4,800 square feet, four bedrooms, four baths, one half bath. So you can see that it's going to be absolute luxury. Windsor Point is amazing. It's beautiful custom homes and none of them look the same, which is something I love. So let me know if that is something that you would like to know more about. Another big reason that Frisco is exploding is because the PGA of America moved here. And so there's a huge, amazing golf course and the fields, I've done multiple videos on the fields because it's the biggest thing that has come here in a really long time. It's a $10 billion development. The homes that are being built in the fields, you're gonna get more equity out of those than we've probably seen in all of the time Dallas-Fort Worth has ever been in existence. They're calling it a 50-year neighborhood just because they don't think people will see this type of equity for another 50 years. So go and watch my videos on on the fields. Now, Frisco does have older homes. I live in one. My house was built in 1976. You can get older homes. It doesn't have to be new construction, but there. Are, this is for the people that definitely want new construction or want to know the options with new construction. So I've done several videos on Newman Village in Frisco, and it really doesn't have much going on inside of it as far as new builds, but it is one of the most premier neighborhoods we have here until, of course, the fields opened up and building started happening there, and now it's kind of the really sought after place, but Newman Village now has townhomes. It is not inside the gated portion, but they are luxury, they're amazing. If you want that kind of no maintenance lifestyle close to the PGA, then this could be a really good fit for you. It's central living homes and Newman Village is about 121 luxury townhomes. The architect is John Lively and Associates and he is award-winning. They've got two, three, and four bedroom layouts. They're brownstones, so kind of in, you know, think of that New York looking brownstone type. There are four different designs, and they're, of course, they're gonna have luxury finishes and, you know, top smart home technology. Pricing's gonna start in the low 600s, like 625, and go up depending on the floor plan and the finish outs. And again, you cannot ask for a better location. It's Frisco ISD, low maintenance. You can get anywhere in Frisco fast. So if that is something that you would like to have, then let me know. So let's talk about Frisco ISD. It is a huge reason why people move to Frisco. And when looking at the ISD, it was actually voted number nine out of over 700 uh, school districts in the entire state of Texas. And if you were thinking about your kids and sports, this is going to take them up a level. I believe that we excel in sports the way that we do because it's kind of a hub for many of the professional sports Frisco is. You've got the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Stars, the Texas Rangers, Dallas Mavericks, and even our, um, you know, double A baseball team. Not that they're all in Frisco, but a lot of them are here. And I just think it takes the whole level of thought up and the competitive nature of our high schools. So Men's Journal actually voted Frisco one of the best cities for athletes. And I think that's a huge thing as well. So take that into consideration when you're looking at where to move. So now we're in Wade Settlement and it is all townhomes that are more like brownstone and it's a great little neighborhood. This area is closer to 121 and the Dallas North Tollway, so if you need to jump on the highway quick or get to the mall, Stonebriar Mall quickly, then this might be a really great place for you. This is low maintenance. It does have amenities like the walking trails and the pool, and so I just think it's a really easy way to have a get in, get out home if you travel a lot or if it's a starter home, but they're going to range anywhere from a little over 2,100 square feet all the way up to almost 2,700 square feet. Three bedrooms, you know, three bath, three and a half bath, all the way up to four bedrooms, four and a half bath. And you're looking at price range is probably 600 to 6. 30, 640, maybe even 650, depending on the finish out. So if that is something that you're interested in, let me know and we can get you set up.
So this community is called Tapestry. It's the one that I told you about at the beginning that is super eclectic and it's just a new concept here in Dallas-Fort Worth and it's homes made with nature. And when I say that, I truly mean nature. They're actually putting gardens on the roofs, real live gardens with dirt and flowers and all kinds of things. And it's a living ecosystem. It's on the Rowlett River. So you can see behind me, this is a live river that's pooling. And then it goes over that bridge, which I'm gonna take you there in just a second. You can also see in this pond behind me, there are the ducks that are there. It's just a living, breathing ecosystem. I mean, I know we live in an ecosystem. I'm just saying that neighborhood wise, some of them get pretty sterile. You know, it's just house after house after house. And this one, it's going to be built with responsibly sourced materials and it's going to have an ecological thumbprint on it. So it's just a really cool concept. So they're gonna have multiple ponds. They're gonna build around hundreds of these mature trees. And that's what's crazy about some of this development, which, you know, there's good and bad about development. There's so much open land in Frisco and it's beautiful and it's been sad, sometimes sad to see it all just turn into housing or strip malls because I'm used to driving down the road and seeing a hundred steer, you know, livestock grazing on these um, huge pieces of farm and all of a sudden they're gone and they're, it's a tom thumb now. And so I know it's progress, but still it's sad to see some of that go. And they're keeping all of this. It's unbelievable. So if, if nature and the ecosystem and being out in it and feeling like you're not just in a cookie cutter neighborhood, this could be the place for you. I know that you guys may not be able to see it, but down there that's running river and it's running from here. It's just stunning here. So basically it, it says tapestry homes are becoming known for their um, rooftops with native Texas grasses and large glass panel doors along the outside so that you always feel close to nature. That's what it says on their website. And so I just think that if that is your jam, then this is the place for you. I'm so excited about it. They haven't even really started building yet. They're gonna have their grand opening later in the month and I'll do a whole video just on tapestry. Okay, so this is open, it's their model, and I'm gonna take you in, and this is a first glimpse. Nobody really knows this is here yet, so come on. guys so much for following me again in Frisco New Construction number two. If you have any questions, feel free to text or call. I'm always available. I'll get your questions answered. And until the next video, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.